Here we're going to replace the back LCD cover on an Acer Aspire 3610. Now if you look at the bottom left hand corner of the screen here, I froze the frame because I wanted to show you that sometimes the hinges don't break, it's actually the plastic back cover that breaks on these laptops and that's the part you need to replace. The hinge might be perfectly fine, in which this case it is. Now I'm just going to gently flop the back cover down. I already took the front bezel off and all the screws out. And I'm just going to show you bits and pieces of this video. I just wanted to get the point across that it's not always necessarily the hinges that break. Now, we got the back panel off. The back panel has the antenna for the wireless cards attached to it, so that's one inconvenience. We got to loosen them up a little bit. But th the thing you really don't want to break is the LCD cable and the cable that goes to the inverter. So we're going to take the inverter off now and that will allow us to free up the LCD cable and the that red and white or that red and pink cable that actually powers the bulb. We want to remove the whole back cover from the process here and there we are able to get it off now. At least release from the inverter. Now we're going to pull off the wireless antenna. Okay, now we had the rear plate off. The hinges look okay from this view, but I want to just check and make sure that the hinges are okay all the way through. So we're going to have to pull this hinge cover plate off, which may possibly be screwed in from the bottom. Now it turns out it wasn't screwed in from the bottom, so we just even though we have it pried up a little bit, we're going to have to apply a little force and just kind of jiggle it and we'll see that it comes out. But you always want to check to make sure that these plates are not screwed in at the bottom before you take them off. And now we have the hinges exposed. Now I want to still get the screen out of the picture here. So the best way to do that is to just get these wireless antenna pulled in through the bottom of the computer. Which they get routed under the keyboard and they go to the bottom of the computer and they plug into the wireless card. We want to get them out of there. This way we can remove the whole screen, get it out of the picture focus on the hinges and putting the back panel on. And to get to the wireless card, which I probably should have done in the first place, you have to take off this plate on the back of the computer. And then in this, under this plate, there's actually the hard drive, which is that silver thing there, and the wireless card. So let's just pull the antenna out of the wireless card. Get the wireless card out of there so it doesn't block the antenna from coming through the hole. And then just follow the route of the wireless antenna there and pull it through the hole. Let's get that whole thing out of the picture. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the hinges again and focus them. I think I'm going to replace them. I believe I have a spare set of hinges, just to be sure. But it turns out, actually, in, in the end, that the hinges were perfectly fine that are on here. But these are the two hinges that hold the screen on. Now, you're going to see that it's not actually the hinges that are bad, but that point there, which is the rail that goes up the side of the LCD screen is bent and there's another one down here that's also bent. Those are causing a problem when opening the LCD screen and it's causing the back case to break actually. I'm just going to dust off a little bit here. And the screen, back screen cover that I actually purchased, and I got this on eBay, had the hinges attached. So that's why we're going to remove the old hinges and use the cover with the new hinges on it. And we just need to attach these hinges with the screws and then throw the screen back in and we'll be okay. I'm going to speed up the process here real quick. 
and get right to the end here, but I'm going to show you. First, I'm going to attach the wireless antenna, which can be kind of a pain. They feed down the side of the screen. Actually, wireless antennas are one of my least favorite things. They just are a little unwieldy. They never do what you want, kind of get in the way. But there's little fittings on the side of the screen we could use here to just push them through. Then we got to mount them around, put the screen in. The screen fits okay. We're going to screw the screen in using the tiny screws that comes with the screen on the side. Make sure the inverter's fastened in. You don't want the inverter touching anything metal with an exposed side on the inverter. Inverter has a lot of voltage going through. And you don't want that to short circuit. It could cause a pretty big problem. Just And also make sure you, you push all the cables back the way they were. They have to be flush exactly the way they were before they came out. Otherwise, pieces aren't going to fit. Like the hinge cover plate won't fit. Okay, we're going to attach the front bezel. Okay, make sure it just snaps in evenly all the way around. We're going to screw it in. Make sure the hinges are okay. Make sure all the holes line up. Okay, and that's going to do it. Now, although not terribly informative, this video was created to, just to show you that it's not always the hinges that could be the problem. And you can still see in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen here, this computer suffered some major damage. Um, the, some of the holes on the front bezel are broken. So it's very possible to really get this so there's no more flaws. We need to replace the whole top plate, the, rear, the whole back panel, the whole bezel, and basically get a whole new top for this Acer. But for now, with the you know back LCD cover that I bought and a little finagling, I can get the screws to uh, screw in on this bezel and it should be okay.